right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and who by night respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his goal. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here. Herb Dean, third hey, man in the octagon hey. tonight. All right, here's the long-time team out for male rep, Song Yadong. He has accrued a wealth of UFC experience, and as this round gets underway, he believes there are going to be some openings here on the feet. He said, I'm not going to force anything in transition, but he believes that there's going to be a knockout here and that the judges' scorecards will not be needed at the end of this contest. What a sound. He lands a beautiful flying knee. Yadong strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. <laughs> Trying to establish the jab early on here. Quick jab. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Just misses there with the left. He checked that last one. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. You don't get caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. It won't take many of those. Oh, that right hand there, you missed it. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. And now some separation. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Gidon. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, nice hook there by Yudong. Single collar tie there. Right now they separate. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Yadong gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. 
Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. Under two minutes in the first round. Come on, let's work. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Swing and a miss by Yudon. Back and forth with Yudon. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Yudong's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. That one connected. Oh, again with the hook. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Dong gets caught by that straight punch there. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, it looked like he got tagged a couple times there on top. Nice straight right lance. 15 seconds remain in the round. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Reach the end of round one. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC doesn't always pay to be the total fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Nice. Oh. oh! Boom! Big jab. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Oh, man. The oh. He's got that single collar tie. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. And that's, that's the danger. 
in the engagement there. Huge left. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Yadong's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Now getting that left hand home to the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big inside kick. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired, nothing feels better. Yadong's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. It looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really... Oh! Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Yadong's cut is getting worse. The cut man chopping at the bit to get in there. We'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Oh, big elbow. usual suffocating work from the top here by Yudong. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. He passes to half guard. Oh, right into Mung. Final seconds. Oh, outstanding combination of ground and pound punches here by Yudong. Two rounds in the books. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, so there's the end of the round, and we will continue to keep an eye on the cut on the nose. That thing is only getting worse. And again, you got to get that guard up, and even when he does, it seems like the strikes are getting through. That is a significant cut now on the bridge of his nose. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. Ready no attention to his defense, Ready. and this costing him. Good. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. Big punch, man. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. He gets to a flying knee. Great hook is good by you, Don. Fourth we go. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, nice kick. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Fighter blocks the punch. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of... Oh, 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 
does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to manage space. Beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. It's amazing. One calf kick can do so much damage. Starting to show some signs of bruising there. It's already starting to limit him. Under three minutes to go in our third round. There it is. Now he's running off. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by you don't. All right, well, he's got him softened up here under the net. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. He has done such a great job of targeting that cut that now he has his opponent in a critical situation. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. And there you go, again, half guard. Less than two minutes now to go. Inside the close guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Yadong's got a nasty bruise, Daniel. You see it appearing there on the left side. You gotta think all of that body investment by his opponent is gonna pay large dividends as this fight continues. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Yadong's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Oh, oh you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. We'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Yudon. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Yudon's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. And there you go again, half guard. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Yadong's nose has got to be broken. I'm no doctor, but perhaps they should call on one right now. You hate to see a fight ended because of a circumstance like this, but I'm just not sure the fighter's going to be able to continue given all the blood. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete right now? Yeah, this is, this is a classic case of that, where a guy is just too tough. He's not going to win this fight. He may as well throw in the towel. I mean, his corner can stop it, the referee can stop it, the doctor can stop it. Somebody needs to do something because this fight is over.
Straight right hand, no good. She's hurting bad here. Let's work, guys. Come on. He's cut. Give me that ball. Good eyes to not take that shot. Just missed with the elbow there. Well, missed on that one. with that right hand. He gets in a single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Still plenty of time with which to work here round four. Well, if body language is any indication, mentally he is not back in this fight after the oh, oh. oh, continuing to attack the head is that diving punch victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba.